Well, Adam, despite searching from 8 a.m. to about 5 this afternoon, they did not uncover anything today, but that does not mean that they're stopping or quitting. In fact, tomorrow they will be right back out in Vandalia again, tightening the circle of the area that they'll be searching to see where Cheryl Coker might be. Cheryl Coker has been gone for almost a year. Today, EquiSearch leaders are more confident than ever that they will find her after conducting a large search effort in an undisclosed location in Vandalia. We're one step away. I think we, I think we're in the right church, but we got to find the right pew. You guys, make sure you search that area real good because a car could have easily fit through there. Saturday's search wasn't without its challenges. Kind of brutal out here. But the volunteers continue to search for hours, unwilling to give up on finding their neighbor. They have one of their own that's missing. You, you know, they, they take this stuff personally, and, and they, want, they want to find her for the family. Coker's husband, William, has been named the homicide suspect by Riverside Police, but has been neither arrested nor charged with the crime. Since the case is ongoing, the search team must be careful, even if they do find something. So we, we want to make sure that we're, we're doing things the right way. Um, so if something is found that through the judicial system, we're, we're, we're doing things right so nobody gets off on, on any technicalities. But they're not leaving any stone unturned in their search to bring closure to the Coker family. Uh, when we do something, we're, we're absolutely doing it, uh, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. I can almost guarantee you this isn't the last time you'll see me. Well, right now I'm at the St. Helens Parish where there will be a vigil this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. to remember Cheryl Coker on the one year anniversary of her disappearance. In Riverside, Olia Williamson, 2 News, working for you.